Right, so it's Michael and I'm talking about Art Center Professional Car Design Advanced and this is week two and we are ideating. To refresh your memory by key assignment drivers, uh, geometric, functional and minimal. So the kind of two main images, a project in Brisbane by Richard and Spence Architects called Fish Lane. Very remnant, very typical of their style, highly geometric like big blocks, archways, flat surfaces. And the other image I've put in for my board is uh, Hamish Mon a ring by Hamish Munro. And I just, I'm particularly drawn to this because it's, it's in the same vein as the building at Fish Lane. How, um, in a lot of ways, it's, just, it's pure geometry. It's circles, it's concave, it's really paired back. Yeah, this week was heaps of fun, really loose drawing as you can see in this first panel here and not really thinking about what's happening but just trying to kind of pull some of those shapes out and kind of explore what I could do with them for this kind of truck SUV crossover. In response to Leon's feedback I think it's more like it's more a mainstream offering in terms of income and Kind of utility as well so quite affordable and quite accessible in terms of price point and so yeah just trying to keep things kind of pared back and simple not overly designed not not looking for some crazy surfacing but just some really like strong and functional approach on to the next slide I'm just kind of playing the, with the idea of this kind of box with an archway and how this kind of archway can be incorporated in and I thought maybe Having moved through the variations, it, it could become the, the design element that links both the wheels together. And so you get this like beautiful sort of bridge arch sort of function. And then on the back, I took inspiration from the steps that you can see in the building. It's quite a prominent feature. And making that into some sort of like a cover for the loading area on the back, which becomes this kind of like armadillo shell, which is quite cool. And you can see, I've, it's just really fun to kind of keep pushing these really loose. Also, it's been great not to look at car design in particular and try to get inspiration from outside of it, so it doesn't all look like other cars. So yeah, this really interesting sort of mono volume with the truncated nose this kind of like shell design. I think the thing that works really well for this process to me is that I can just draw very random shapes and try to bring them together and I'm not always sure what's going to happen at the other end. I mean look, look at this thing, it's got like, I tried to go for the boxy sort of side graphic and it's kind of turned me into putting this like kind of upright but round windshield which is pretty fun and unexpected and that kind of links it back to the inspiration really strongly and then for the back of the for the back of the truck looking at that reference from the ring and scalloping out the back of the tray and getting this really interesting kind of strong functional details it could be drawers they could be openings they could be there could be so many things I just kept going and I thought what if I did a diagonal window and that kind of didn't make much sense and what if I just did a horizontal opening and then I felt like that looked like too conventional of a truck and so it's like what if we just did the whole thing as a circle and what would happen from there. So you get this kind of fun kind of almost streamliner shape and then yeah I mean it's it's been interesting. I'm, very curious to see what's going to happen in the next week. Really great way to draw. Gets me away from looking at cars and looking at other things and gives me really interesting results. So, yeah, would recommend doing this all the time. Alright, that's me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.